Hi viewers, you are welcome to Construction Builder TV once again. In the previous episode, we looked at the excavation, the concrete in foundation, and all other things. Today, we are focusing on episode 2, which will look at the filling in foundation, dampness treatment, compaction, and then the ground floor slab. So, what you are watching now is the treatment we've done on the foundation wall. So the whitish you see on the wall are the painted surface of the wall, which is the anti salt hop chemical that we use in this on this project. Now, after the treatment of the anti salt, the plastering was also done, and then plastering we added anti soft chemical to it so that it can complete the treatment process. So first of all, you spray or you paint the wall with the chemical. And then you add some of the chemical to the mortar as well to make the treatment process complete. So what you are watching now is the DPM. We are painting on the surface of the plastered wall. So after the wall is plastered, we also apply this bitumen. You know, this bitumen prevents water from seeping into the wall. For more on this uh, treatment, watch the previous episode or I have a video on dampness treatment so you can go onto the platform or our youtube channel and look for that video so that you understand the process in that video you are taking through how to do the treatment how to even mix the ratio of the cement and all other things you can look for that video and watch so what you are seeing now is the painted surface of the plus is the filling we've done the filling was done in two layers the first layer was 0 0.4 meters and then the second layer was 0 0.3 meters in all we watered and compacted so you water and leave it for some time to dry then you compact it so that you are you can achieve the maximum compassion trend i mean to let your material settle well before you continue your building process so this is the compactor we bought on to site to compact this is a heavy duty compactor when you use this kind of compactor it's able to compact your filling and compact it well so let's have a look at it and how the compassion was done so all the entire surface of the filling was compacted and then fortunately around the time we were building it also rain so it, it also help um, the compassion process so this is how the compassion was done uh, did about two uh, stroke of compassion um, so you see the machine is gently compacting the fail material because you need to compact it well so that all the void in the filling Will be filled with the gravel so that when you finish your work you don't hear or you don't have any problem with settlement in the slab and then after the compact the next thing we did was to do the planting for the waste pipe the waste water the toilet uh, we call it planting so we did all those planting in the same time we were also doing the boarding around the floor so that when it's time for us to pour the concrete inside, um, the concrete will not um, come out from the floor. So we are boarding around with the help of a carpenter to close all the surroundings of the floor before concrete is poured on top of the surface. After this process, we also laid a DPM material to also help in the treatment of the dampiness. Because when you put the damp proof membrane material on top, the water is not able to rise up and come to the top of the floor to affect the superstructure work. Thank you. Viewers, this is how much we spent on each item. And so um, the last episode ended um, at the filling stage so we'll continue from there so if you look at item one the filling and so we got um imported material if i see imported material we got gravel from 
outside the construction area and then uh, we needed six strips the six strip is a um, 20 cubic track and so one cubic um one track cost us 1200 and so if you multiply 1200 by the um, six strips it amounted to 7200 and then we spent 1800 on the labor uh, each trip of gravel that got to site we spent 300 cities for the failing and so the total cost for the failing amounted to 9000 Ghana cities let's quickly move to the watering and so the watering I said like I said earlier on the watering amounted to 600 cities the first failing or the first level of the failing cost us 300 cities the second level also cost us 300 cities and so we used 600 cities for the water the water we use uh, to water the filling material so that it can consolidate well when after compaction and then we we'll quickly move to compaction on the compaction item we hired a compactor for two um, days if I say two days like I said earlier on in the video the filling was done in two layers the first layer and then the second layer so after filling after leveling the first layer and then uh, watering we we waited for some few days and then we compacted so that first compassion cost us 500 cities and then the second compassion also cost us 500 cities if we put the two together it's amounting to 1000 Ghana cities and then we also bought uh, the BPM, the black rubber. The rubber we spread on surface of the the filling material before concrete is poured on the ground floor. We spent 800 Ghana cities in purchasing of that rubber. We also needed some board for the ground floor to board on the side. So we bought 15 pieces of our board, and then one is. 120 cities so the 15 amounted to 1800 Ghana cities and then the carpenter who did the boarding for us also cost us 1320 cities so the total for the form work also cost us 3120 Ghana cities and then the last item for this level is the the big guy <laughs> I always call the big guy because you know uh, that's where you spend a lot of money I mean the concrete so let's look at the items in the concrete we needed cement we needed sand chippings water concrete mixer and then some labor cost so let's look at item by item we needed 115 bags of cement and that 115 bags of cement at that time cement was 95 cities so it amounted to 10,000 925 cities for the total bags of cement we bought the sand also cost us 1500 cities we needed 12 cubic and then one cubic was 125 cities and the chipping also we needed um 24 cubic and the 24 cubic cost us 3600 um for the 24 cubic and then the concrete mixer we rented it for or we hired it for one day and the cost for one day is 900 cities this 900 cities includes the transportation in and from site of the mixer and then other uh, things so the total for the mixer amounted to 900 ghana cities and then we look at the water we also spent 300 cities on water for the concrete works and then let's look at the labor so the labor have this breakdown for purposes of um, emphasis or details so that i mean as you are embarking on your project you'll be able to know what you need to even pour your concrete or cast your concrete on this because of the size of the floor we needed two masons and then 12 laborers so two mason amounted to 300 ghana cities and then 12 laborers for a day one labor cost us 120 cities so times 12 give us 1440 cities and then we also hired some wheelbarrow because 
I mean, we need more wheelbarrow for the concrete works, and you don't need to buy all the wheelbarrow. You can also rent some when you need them. So wheelbarrow and other small small stuff to make our work complete also cost us 600 CDs. So the total for the labor for this phase also cost us um, 2,340 CDs. So if you put the cost for the concrete, it amounted to 19,565 CDs. And so you now understand why I said the big guy, because if you look at all the cost items here, it is the biggest one you can find because of the input for the concrete um, works. So uh, viewers, if you look at episode one, we spent 68,242 CDs, 67 pesos. And episode two also, we spent 34,000 and 85 cities so if you put episode 1 and episode 2 the total cost for the substructure uh, amounted to 102,327 cities 67 pesos and so this takes us to the uh, ground floor so now we'll finish everything in foundation I mean if I say in foundation everything that makes the foundation is completed now and the total amount we spent on that was 102,327 cities, 67 pesos. Viewers, um, there was a question or a comment that um, is this rate um, current? Like, is it current? So, yes, this is 2023. But quickly, what you can do is that, I mean, to also guide you for your future work, you can convert this money or this amount into usd and so you know how much it is costing you in usd when you do that you can keep that amount the total amount and then later work with it because you know materials appreciate or the cost of material keeps going up and then it, it also goes up with the dollar but when the dollar goes up then the cost of material also increases so when you convert if you convert this amount into, I mean, this amount, this total amount into dollar, you can keep it and work with it. So, viewers, this is the end of episode two. In the next episode, which will be episode three, we'll look at the superstructure work, the block work, reinforcement or continuation columns, the lintel, the beams, the slab, and so on and so forth. And on that, we are going to give you the cost item for each level of work that we do. So, viewers, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. Drop your comment and make sure you subscribe. We'll be bringing you more and more of such educative videos on this platform. This is Construction Without TV. Thank you for watching.